guess what guys i just got my first youtube check I cannot wait to share. I think I'm gonna do it actually. Let me just start off. Let me just start over. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. I am so excited to take you through my day in the life. It's currently 10 o'clock, so I've had um, a few other meetings that were just very confidential, so I could not loop you in for that. But I wanna take you through the rest of my day in the life. Um, for those who are new to my channel, my name is Akita. I am a lifestyle influencer as well as an HR professional. I work um, in human resources as a talent acquisition manager. And so in my role um, today, I I have upcoming a meeting to go through a training that we're going to present to our new hires so I'll be a part of that and also I have an acquisition call which will encompass um, some new hires that we're gonna be bringing on board as well and um, throughout this video I want to give you guys some career tips as I'm going throughout my day and then as well um, just be able to catch you up on um, things that have transpired from last week to this week. So you already hear my emails going off so I'm going to go ahead and get started because I have um, some admin items to catch up with um, now and then I'm going to hop on the call soon. So let's get to work. Friday. No matter how busy I am, I'm always happy on Friday. Always. going over our presentation um, that we're going to be presenting next week um, and this will be for our new hires to welcome them on board we go through um, an overview of the organization um, benefits um, some of the other incentives that we have um, let's see what else history about the organization I think I shared that already but it's just a, a slew of different things to cover um, as they are introduced to the organization and how they can propel their career while they're here um, so now at this point I have a list of items I need to complete today. Now I just lost my list, so that's not gonna help. Um, oh, it's right, <laughs> it's right here. Um, so one thing I do wanna do, um, I need to go to Target. Like I have to go to Target today. And I wanna do that before um, the Good Girlfriends chat. That's gonna be tonight. We're gonna film that, Janae and I. Um, so if you're not following us on Instagram, that's where we uh, um, initially announced when we're going to um, do the Good Girlfriends chats as well as um, poll questions. So follow us both on Instagram and also the Good Girlfriends chat on Instagram as well. But I do have one more meeting for the day and that's gonna be at one o'clock. Um, but I do have time on my calendar that's blocked out for certain tasks because I do have a couple things I wanna be able to complete, but I also wanna be able to um, 
get like log off on time like I mean, i'm trying to get my thoughts together i do want to be able to log off on time and so in order to do that i must time block time on my calendar because if not it'll show that i'm available and available to my clients means i'm sitting here doing nothing i think so tip for you guys if you're going to be delayed on communicating or you have something that you need to um, complete um, instead of having the time either um, just wide open your calendar time blocking is the way to go just time block it and that way it communicates to everyone and yeah it's a win-win <laughs> all right so I gotta get back to work and then um, we're gonna catch up around lunchtime Okay, so what I'm doing right now, I'm gonna take a quick um, break. I like, not really a break, but I do like to hop on Clubhouse and just see um, which one of the clubs I may be interested in kind of listening to. Um, I really, really enjoy pod podcasts. Um, actually, I'm not really into a lot of podcasts, but I do um, really like Clubhouse because it gives me that podcasty feel excuse me, and I don't have to commit to one group or one person in particular. So I just kind of see what's happening for this time frame because now that I'm in my zone of kind of like completing different admin things, this is a good time to just kind of listen without being um, distracted by visualization. Um, and I'm referencing more or less like when I have my iPad with me, when I have my iPad, it's 1111. OMG. I literally see this time all the time, every day, every night. And I just happened to just hop on. It was gonna show you my iPad and it's 1111, which also is my birthday, um, which is why that number is always so significant to me. And I also have the tattoo. So that's really my angel number um, that just is always speaking to me each day. But um, I was talking about Clubhouse. So I think I may start a club or do a room one day. I'm not 100% sure yet. <laughs> I've just been a spectator this whole time. I've not actually participated or been on a panel at all. Um, so more to come with that. Um, so here's one that's called, which one? Let's, let me see. Mm. There's one that's called how PR and influencers can work better together. There's one on Instagram growth. There's one on motivation hacks to create opportunity. That looks like a good one. Yeah, the, and the types of clubs that I always join typically are around influencing um, or career related, which again, just aligns with both of my pillars. So um, so today I think I wanna join the motivation hacks to create opportunity. Okay, so I made tacos um, Tuesday. <laughs> so this is the last bit of it and then um, go from there. Do you guys eat leftovers? I know like my husband can only eat leftovers like one day. I can go like two days because it's such a light meal. Um, you know, so I try not to really eat heavy during my lunch time. I also typically don't advise people to have working lunches, but because I want to stick with such a stringent schedule today so I can log off on time. <laughs> um, I really want to be wrapped up by four o'clock because honestly from four to five, I'm mentally checked out anyway. So <laughs> I'm just going to like, have this working lunch so that I can stay on top of my schedule um, and then go from there. And I'm also using ground turkey, or I use ground turkey in here. So let's eat. 
y'all. <clears throat> Let me turn off my heater. Okay. So while I was eating my taco, I went to go, you know, grab some coffee and then check my email and I received my first check on YouTube, like my first month's check. And I am so shocked at like what's possible. Like, <laughs> and it just seems so weird because I never started this channel to like, replace my income or be like a source of of true income um I think it's a bonus ad but it's not what's motivating me to continue creating videos but I honestly am very surprised at the amount of this video and I want to share with you right now but I I'm going to do a dedicated video just on my process of getting monetized on YouTube and starting a YouTube channel um but actually let me get your feedback first because if you guys aren't interested in that at all then I just won't do the video <laughs> you know I'm here to give you guys value so if you're not interested in it I won't record it but um if so let me know down below if you want me to um do a video about um getting monetized on YouTube and different things that um um, I suggest as far as starting a YouTube channel um, but that is just so crazy I'm so excited um, so it's a good way to end the week so right now it's currently 12 o'clock which I said I was gonna take my lunch break during this time but since I just ate early <laughs> I am now going to switch that with some of my admin and then I'm gonna run out before my um, next meeting to go to Target because I can take that from my phone because um, I don't have a, a big update to provide on that call so that's what I'll do um and then yeah that's what I'll do I just had to stop real quick just to tell you how excited I am about that so okay bye So Hubs just got home, so I'm gonna take another quick break. See, it's the breaks for me. It's, you know, it's all about balance. <laughs> all right, so he just brought home some pizza and wings. So I'll have my dinner before I go to Good Girlfriend's chat today. 100% cleared. I'm also not more information, so we can just keep moving. But thank you, guys. This one uh, has definitely been very well prepared. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much, Valerie. Bye. Okay, so that was a really quick call. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it was an acquisition call. We're getting ready to ramp up to do um, a mass hire. And so um, all the key players and 
um, leaders are on this call from different departments such as business services, IT, marketing, finance, accounting, HR. So we're all represented to make sure that this is a smooth um, transition for all parties and for all parts that are needing to be involved. Um, so now what I'm gonna do, it's 1.30, I'm getting behind on my schedule, but I'm gonna keep plugging along. I still have um, some more admin things I need to finish up because I wanna make sure that, again, around four o'clock, I should be winding down, wrapping up, putting bows and ties and everything, and that I can go ahead and transition into the weekend. Um, okay, so, also wanted to share with you, I just got a package. I mean, I ordered it, it wasn't like PR, <laughs> I wish. But um, let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, it's right here, Hub, Hub set it down right here for me. Today is just a great day. Like, my tote bag is here. I'm so excited. I have been eyeing this bag for a minute now. And this is the tote bag by Marc Jacobs. I do love it because it's so large as well to even use if you want to travel um, as a work bag. Um, I did get this from, I believe I ordered this from Neiman Marcus um, because I couldn't find it anywhere else in this size. Um, so it does have the flap here in the back where it has two pockets as well as a zipper. So I love that. And I think I said that the tag here says and I love this like canvas material um, I do already have these snapshot bags so if I wanted to um, use this as a crossbody I could just use the strap from that one and attach it here um, so I did not purchase a separate one also what I love about this is that it does zip to close so no matter if it's raining or whatnot you can't open oh, turn the other side There we go. Whoo! <laughs> I'm take this thing back. Okay, so what I was sharing is that it does zip like so. So that way, depending on the weather, especially if you're putting your clothes or your laptop, if you're using the work bag, etc., everything is safe and secure and not um, damaged by the weather. Um, but again, I just love this. I'm going to be using this probably all season. <laughs> So if you see me wearing this a lot, just say yes, bag, and keep it moving. But again, just love this. I think you can really wear it even if you're kind of um, going for a more casual, either dress up, even dress it down, um, because it's such a multifunctional bag. Um, so this was just a nice treat for myself. Um, I'm just so excited. And it also has the authenticity card in here as well. Um, it's in the pocket. No, wait, it's not in here. Oh, yeah, here it is. So it does come with the authenticity card also as well. Fan. Let me stand up so you can see it better. Like, how cute is this? Oh, let me put my laptop in it so you can see how much room there is in here. So here's my laptop plenty of space in here like my laptop just kind of like is swollen in here like swallowed and there's just so much extra room so this is going to be with me every day now 4 15 my brain has done all it can do it's tapped out it it can't offer anything else <laughs> but I have gotten to a place where I can at least step away I've already contacted all my hiring managers I've finished up a 
an extensive report um, that took a lot of detail. Um, so this particular day, I didn't have a lot of calls as far as like my interaction with candidates. Um, I'll take you through a day like that next week probably because that's when um, I'll be ramping up more on some hiring initiatives. So I will fold you in for that conversation just so you kind of hear how they go. Um, I did share on my Instagram story no in my feed i did share my instagram feed um you know a lot of times you know applicants choose not to apply for positions over the weekend but that's almost the worst thing to do you know that's the best time to apply is over the weekends because as soon as i come in on monday i'm going to now look at all the positions that i've refreshed to see what new talent has applied meaning new candidates have applied to the positions and start calling those because typically those are the ones that are the most active like they're the most true active candidates and they're they're not like passive candidates just applying um so great tip if you guys are looking for positions um we're looking to change careers i would absolutely apply over the weekend because me and my home girls and home guys out there um, me and my me and my home girls and my homeboys out there who are in the um hr space we are calling candidates back on monday for interviews Okay, so now that I have some downtime, I'm going to go ahead and run to Target really quickly because I need to go ahead and pick up these items because if I don't, then I'll end up having to do them tonight and I just don't want to do that. i um, very happy that I've already crossed off everything else off my list today. So um, I haven't achieved my water goal for today, so I'm really looking to um, chug down all this water before I go so I don't have to use the restroom in public um, and go from there. So... I'm sorry I'm losing my energy. I'll pick back up in a little bit. I just <laughs> literally walked away from that computer. It's like, I'm gonna collapse. <laughs> All right, let's go to Target. Okay, so y'all are catching me in real time getting ready for the um, live that I'll be doing today. I did go to Target. It was so fast because the only thing I needed to get was I was looking for a larger donut like one of these things and this one's just small and I like mine to be like bigger like this but there was a lot of gaps in there so I had to just buy a larger donut. Currently you won't believe this guys but you can it's 528 so I have finished my work day. I have finished, um, I've gone to Target. I also had to go to Sally's because they didn't have it at Target. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get dressed at Janae's house and the bun looks good. Looks camera ready. It's not going anywhere. I'm just going to touch up the sides here. This one is curling as if like a little ringlet, but this one, is straight so I just want to get them both on the same page I realistically wanted it to be straight but they look like it looks good straight and then it looks good like it looks cute curly so it's like I don't even know what to do because they just decided to do their own thing today so I think I'm gonna just try to just curl this little thing here I don't know, maybe it goes the other way. Let me try the other way, like this way. Yeah, because I can't get them both to kind of stay on the same page. How to, how to do that? Did it this way, I think. But like I said, this one just decided it was just gonna curl up like this on its own. And now I can't get them both to do the same thing. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, cute enough. So I'm now just going to tie down the edges. I don't do baby hairs. I just, I just don't. I mean, I'm, I'm 36. <laughs> Um, yeah, just, yeah, I just don't. I also don't have like the texture for it either. So I guess I'm not going to say I'm too old for it. I just have never really had the texture 
for it to stay like if I get it done it'll stay for a little bit but it won't stay long term so I just don't even worry about it all right so now that I have that tied down this will work today's topic is black women deserve luxury love and to level up so we're really excited to dive into it we got some really great questions um on instagram so i think it's going to be it's just going to be more than what we expected and probably one of the best ones we've done that's what we're anticipating um so yeah so i'm just going to let's say just kind of touch up my makeup a little bit here some of the dark spots since i had that mask on All right, I'll let Janae know I'm on the way. She's gonna be so shocked. And like I said, I'll just get dressed over there. All right, face ready. Nothing on my teeth. Perf. Let me see what she said. Probably something smart. Just to go on record, she's not even home. She said she'll be there in 15 minutes and it's 5.39. So, hmm, it's not always me, guys. It's not always me. <laughs> okay, so that just gives me some time to honestly just kind of tidy up a little bit. We literally live like in a walking distance to each other, so it's not even a big deal. Um, okay, perfect. All right, so we're just getting settled. We're here, as I told you guys earlier, complete wardrobe malfunction on my part. <laughs> but we have the same um, esque top, so we're getting ready to go live now. So excited. So here's a little behind the scenes. This is where we set up at um, Janae's um, beautiful CB2 couch. And that's it. We just have the light. The sun's out now since daylight saving time has taken place. So we are in a good place. Ready to talk with you ladies. Many of my friends have children or focus on family planning. Sometimes our activities surround around the kids. I'm supportive, but things don't seem as adult anymore. What? Ooh. <laughs> Jazzy, you are just <laughs> going to go with us and trying to take us out. Yeah. Um, that is a very, um. Yeah. Uh, just the thing, I don't, I've never had friends that have kids. Not on purpose. Yeah. Did they have kids on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> Not, I don't choose the friends on purpose. Right, right, right. So I can't, it's never affect, and that's probably why I also am not super eager to have kids because I also don't feel like I'm behind. Like, I feel like that's a comparison thing sometimes mm -hmm. when you're like, oh, okay, oh, they're on baby number two. Oh, let's get started. Like, I yeah. don't know anyone that has kids Yeah. in the, my close circle. Yeah. And I feel like that would be, I'm trying, oh my God, I don't know what I'm doing. I know, it's such a yeah. <laughs> next though. But you know what, I feel like the age that we are in, we're in this sandwich generation. Yeah. Where our friends are having kids and growing their families. Our parents are getting older. Yeah. Um, I think we're, we're just in a, we're in that sandwich generation right now, or getting into that, um, where... There's there's a there's still a lot of transition transitioning yeah. into older parents transitioning into making more money transitioning into having kids there's this, this is a, a time of transition um a lot of my friends have kids I, I was gonna say but me all of them except for yeah. you have kids and I'm so okay with that because again the friendships that I have are very they said they're like luxury bags they just hold their value and I'm very okay with. And I think you have to figure out how you want to stay down into that friendship. Yeah. Is it worth you showing up at these events that don't really serve you? But the point mm -hmm. of serving you is that you get to hang out with your friend or get yeah. a couple minutes to chit chat. Mm -hmm. Or do you 
what I would envision serve as like a break for your friend. Yeah. And you always plan the girls' night and she can come to your house and yeah. hang out and you know, you order food and it's a little like retreat mm -hmm. for her. Yeah. Yeah, you you just gotta figure out how important the relationship is yeah. and then what you can do to keep it going. Mm -hmm. All right, mate, so I'm just making it back in from having good girlfriends chat with Janae. It was so much fun. Um, if you missed the most recent one, it is on um, her channel. I think I mentioned that earlier. Um, but even so, just wanted to wrap up the day. I know I didn't offer a lot of, I think, career tips, but just want to even just share as far as what's been going on with me. Um, I've been having a lot of tough, and even some confrontational conversations at work and they've been um, kind of weighing on me regarding um, what my future looks like. And, you know, I think with that, you know, I'm not one that wants to fold, but it just seems like I'm such a kind person that it's almost discredited or even, I don't know, it's, 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 it's drawing a fine line with what my future looks like. <laughs> and, and I don't mean future necessarily with the organization I'm with, but with future with what do I see myself doing in five years? And that used to be the common question that people ask you in interviews, what do you wanna do in the next five years? And it's like, I just wanna know what's gonna happen in the next year or two years. Um, so, you know, and I'm also like, just not a confrontational person. So having several tough conversations at work um, is just difficult for me to kind of navigate, but I don't want that to stop you all from me being able to help you all navigate through your spaces. So, um, you know, if you are in a position where you're constantly seeing that you're having tough um, conversations or you're experiencing microaggressions in the workplace, even macroaggressions in the workplace, um, blatant dis, uh, discrimination or disrespect you know make sure you do talk to members of your HR team um, because they are there to be a resource for you and if you feel like you're they're not a resource then if you have an employee relations division um, you know make sure that you seek them out as well because they are to advocate for you and also to be able to fairly assess the situation and provide support for you so I don't want anyone on my channel to feel like everything is just bubbly and amazing all the time because it's not but i also want you to understand that um you're not alone and don't make your income be a crutch for you to not move in a position that's better for you um, or for your family um so i just want to share that i don't know why that was on my heart so it may touch one person and that's enough for me or it may touch every single viewer on here but again i just hope that that resonates with someone because it was just on my heart to share that um so outside of that i'm going to end the vlog here and then um maybe do a weekend vlog i'm so tired now <laughs> So I may um, not vlog over the weekend and just take that time to do some photo shooting with my husband and um, yeah, go on from there. So outside of that, um, upcoming as far as videos and things, make sure you're following me on Instagram. Um, and then as well, I will be doing um, updated spring home decor favorite items. And then I'm going to be doing a video for, um, it just slipped my mind. Um, oh, um, an updated video regarding, um, you know, like getting into YouTube and being monetized on YouTube. So I really already started putting the thoughts together and I can't wait to really just dive into that. So I will share that with you um, very soon. So just keep watching, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.